Okay. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. Hi everyone, it's Wellens. We're checking out Slay the Princess today. A number of people have been telling me to check this out, but they've also said don't look anything up beforehand. <laughs> Usually when people say that, uh, well, I don't really have a good feeling about it, but I guess we'll just see what happens then, yeah? We're slaying a princess. She's in a dungeon, we're slaying her. Why? Chapter 1. The Hero and the Princess Am I the hero? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Why? Is she some kind of villain? Voiced visual novel, what a treat. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing the princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with a world ending? <laughs> do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Wow, there's so many choices! Wow, they're all, they're all cr kind of crammed in the corner here. Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Oh, sweet, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution! Silently continue to the cabin, turn around and leave. I feel like, well, I mean, this is the one that I'm interested in. I, it's a standard one that maybe most people would pick. It's the first choice. What if I just don't do it? Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Home. Hmm. Quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Am I really gonna be this much of a rebel right at the start? Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. The end. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Hold up. The hero is the narrator? Okay, so I'm not the hero. Who the hell am I then? Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Wait, that sounds like the exact same voice to me. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. <laughs> How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Turn around again and leave again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. I'm gonna need a little bit more information before all this. Maybe everyone should die. That's what they get for dumping me in the woods to ask and asking me to kill someone for them? Ignore him. Your silence is deafening. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. Okay, okay. Maybe we can save this, uh, this obtuse going back and forth for another time. Should we just go? Oh, there's only two choices here. There's no fighting this is there. I have to go in. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction. Again. In fact, I'm gonna just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who's ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. Do you want to tell me more about- And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. 
At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes, glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. The music is turning weird. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. Did I break the universe? In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. I'm being told off. <laughs> this is suddenly getting kind of Stanley Parable-ish. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Oh, there's a chapter two. What? I Hmm, okay. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Wait, this looks a little bit different than before, doesn't it? What's that wall? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I was expecting that to be some kind of like a premature Easter egg-ish ending, and then we end up back at the beginning. For real? But because it's at chapter 2, clearly we're not back at the beginning yet. She didn't end the world though, because this is a continuation. Did she end the world? Hey, those walls weren't here last time. You can't just force me to go to the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. It is the same voice, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. Voice of the Contrarian. He might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin, but I'm sure there's plenty of other ways we can ruin his day. If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. <laughs> I'm feeling like such a rebel right now. Well, definitely the ideal... Ideal? Hey, they said, they said there's no wrong choices in the beginning, okay? But I definitely feel like the conventional path was to go meet the princess and see what's up first. But we're... <laughs> we've sort of stumbled into this... this... philosophical Stanley Parable-ish thing going on. We have to go to the cabin. Or we can keep talking here. <sighs> Let's see... Hmm... Maybe let's find out something about the princess. We don't know anything about her yet. You aren't kidding. She actually ended the world last time, didn't she? What the hell is she? Last time? Last I checked, there wasn't any last time. We've just met you and I. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. That's exactly what they just said. He might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin, but I'm sure there's plenty of other ways we can ruin his day. If by ruining my day, you mean the world really did end last time, did the world hasn't ended yet. Okay, their force- okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm going to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. 
She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. So this is already different from last time because this place, I feel like I'm in a simulation. There's walls here. And that wasn't the case before. And it's nighttime. Wasn't it not nighttime before? You know, there was like a multiverse thing going on <laughs> earlier. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Uh, I will choose to believe her or not, depending on how pretty she is. Let's keep an open mind. Okay, proceed into the cabin. The cabin interior is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. But it's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. I'm inclined to think that the cabin is weird because we were messing around in chapter one. So if we if we just did the conventional path, maybe this wouldn't be a weird cabin. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, okay. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths, its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Should I take it? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? How, how does the princess end the world? Does she go around killing each person personally? No, right? She's pressing a button in her head or something, so... I don't know, maybe a knife can stop us from... stop her from killing me in the visual? <laughs> I don't know. No, we're taking the knife. Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? She's locked up. She hasn't... she can't hurt me. Unless if... She seduces me or something, so it's okay as long as we don't let her out, right? Look, the windows aren't even the same kind of windows. Huh. You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong... Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. These are all facets of me. The, the factual person, the hero, the hero's voice, the contrarian's voice. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? <laughs> this contrarian is annoying. Much like how earlier I was refusing to go to the cabin. Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Ooh, we should look at ourselves. Wouldn't that be fun? You won't be looking at yourself because there isn't a mirror. There's the table, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. You insisting it isn't there just makes me want to look at it even more. Gotta agree with him. Mm. <sighs> Why would you lie about that? What's the point? Exactly. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. Mm, we, we gotta look at the mirror, right? 
You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. Not even my own reflection? This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You <gasps> reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm some kind of a beast. But it was there a second ago. They're not talking about it. They're not talking about it. And now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. Okay, that was, uh... The mirror disappearing itself is interesting, but not as interesting as my hand. Am I... Is this kind of like a... Bowser and Princess Peach situation? Am I Bowser? I guess I'll take the blade just in case. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. I've got claws. Okay, fine, you took the knife. But you really shouldn't hold it like that. Then how are we supposed to hold it? The other way, thumb at the bottom. will look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. <laughs> it really doesn't matter how you hold the blade, as long as you have it. Just make a choice. Duh, hold the blade the other way. What do you mean by the thumb at the bottom? Like, aim it towards myself as if I'm gonna stab myself? That seems dangerous, let's do it. You switch your grip on the blade. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes! Isn't this so much better? <laughs> <sighs> okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. I'll keep the blade. Let's enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Nothing here seems to belong, and the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get, your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. I'll never know if it was always meant to be this weird, or did I break something by refusing to go to the cabin earlier? The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it. The kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. Nothing? If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice. A disquieting collage of tone and personality drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. Whoa. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? Whoa. No. No, thank you. She doesn't sound like what you would expect. Well, there's some, there's some strange sound effects there. She sounds like a creature. Oh, don't be such a baby. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like, whatever we do, we're gonna die. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? So you say? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. The harsh stairs to the left, the center staircase, or the soft stairs to the right. Oh, go big or go home. The harsh stairs to the left. You step to the left. The path is cruel against your feet, the impact of each step sending pulsing vibrations up your legs until there's nothing left in them to feel. The air oh. around you grows cold the further you progress. At first, a barely noticeable drop, quickly evolving into a numbing cold. Your toes feel like blocks of ice, your breaths puff out in clouds of condensed vapor. You shudder against it as you continue down the stairway, losing yourself in the bone-deep chill. Not exactly what I expected out of a staircase. Oh! Oh! You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Time disappears, 
and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish, until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. I didn't even get to meet the princess. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Are you just going to stand there? Oh. Hi. Hey, you don't sound like your voice earlier. Was that even you? What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still... The same person I was at the top of the stairs. That was bizarre. It was like the fabric of our being got unraveled and now we're here. Are we just crazy? Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. The princess, <clears throat> eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. What he said. You're here to... He's just being an ass. We remember. <laughs> Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit. Try and get our bearings. She seems normal. Yeah, whatever's wrong with her, I can fix her. I can fix her. <laughs> We can talk about us, or we can talk about her. Or we can talk about wh why we're here. Getting down here was... weird. Like, I was pulled apart and put together, put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? What, like you need me to hold your hand and tell you everything's okay? You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? We're probably stuck down Whoa! here forever, aren't we? There's no way out, and barely a way in. Do you have a contrarian voice in your head too? As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can, can we put her back? You said you'd been here before, right? What exactly happened last time? Uh, you don't remember? Or are you just playing at not remembering? Does it matter? Yes, it matters, but I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? If you say it like that, then I think if we just followed the conventional route last time, maybe it would be more conventional. <laughs> Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it now. Which one do I kill? How do I unsee it when it's right in front of me? It's still happening right in front of me. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. I like the sound of that. Okay, so the, the ones that say bracket explore are not conversation ending options. Is that what's happening? I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. Okay, let's see. Does she know there's more of her? Or am I... Am I getting a sensory overload and peeking into different dimensions or something? There's more of you now. And what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? Which one's talking? I don't feel like I've gotten any bigger. Oh, no, not like that, I'm sorry. I would never say that to a lady. So this one, the mouth is still open, but this one is closed. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. Oh, okay, it makes sense. She fractures again. I don't like where this is going. Neither do I. Which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are. How would we even do that? Where would we start? Stab her. You could always start by stabbing her. <laughs> Which her? Start with one, end with the last? 
any of them. I don't know about you, but I'm sure glad we took that knife with us. I can't believe someone suggested you toss it out the window. Can you imagine? Yeah, who was that again? I can't quite remember. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. Why don't we just make more then? It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. What's your name? You can address me as Your Royal Highness, or Her Majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Princess. Oh, these different ones are talking. That first convers- uh, the first thing just now was the middle one, and then Princess is this one. It doesn't matter. I've been down here one. for so long. What's the point of a name if there's no one around to use it? These could be- these are- probable inner thoughts of the princess, I guess, but no one's giving me a name. None of them have names. Yeah. How astute. I told you she was untrustworthy. That means we'll get three different things every time we ask her about more stuff. That's good for getting information. Hey, what's going on? These choices are all bundled into one. What the heck? These are three different choices, right? What the heck? Okay, weird. For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Do you know why you're down here? Maybe it's because I'm dangerous. But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. Oh, don't be coy. We both know why I'm locked away here. I'm a monster, and the second I get out of this place, I'm going to end the entire world. We got a full table for a Mahjong game now. Okay, this was fun for a bit, but we can't even really interact with her, can we? What's the point of asking questions if all we're going to get is a million answers? Can't even follow what's going on anymore. We need to get out of here. This whole place is making me itch. This is exactly like how the cabins were multiplying. If I let you out of here, what are you gonna do? I don't think what I'd do really matters, does it? I just want to live my life. I'm a prisoner here, and whether or not you shoved me down here, you're practically my captor at this point. Anything I'd say is tainted by that. I don't even know which one's talking. Oh, it's this one. Besides, you already know what I'm going to do. Is that this one? The evil-sounding one? If you want to put an end to me, then put an end to me. Not a single real answer. At least aside from Miss Blood and Destruction, it's infuriating, isn't it? Whose buttons are there for us to press? <laughs> Whose skin is there for us to get under? <laughs> Not exactly how I'd put it, but I don't disagree. There must be something we can do. Asking questions just seems to make things worse. This is reaching its breaking point. If you don't act now, there will be nothing in here but her. Take a deep breath and focus up. You can do this. Would that be such a bad thing? She can't even... She's in prison right now. She can't do too much anyway. But how do we decide what to do? Can there even be a right choice when all of them are so different? Stop overthinking it. Your drifting thoughts have clearly been part of the reason this situation has gotten out of hand. If you're trying to do the right thing, there's only ever been the one option, and that option is slaying her. I never even found her name yet. Just, just do something. Do anything. Do all of it, if that's what you want. This place is hell, and it's only getting worse. Okay, these are all high- um, I'm getting you out of here. Try and free her. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust you. I can't trust anything here. Leave her in the basement. Slay the princess. Uh, it seems to be just one- big block of choice. I guess I'll- I mean, I don't know if it matters. I'll do the middle one. Wait, that's not right. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception 
multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. My hand. You can see it again. It's not super obvious like last time that it's not a regular human hand. I mean, it is kind of obvious still if you look closely, but it, it's humanoid enough. All at once you charge forward, knife gleaming to slay the princess just as you strike at her bindings and leave her to languish alone. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... Ooh. We, we can't... Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all... ...falls apart? Oh? I don't- I guess in the end we- we chose the slaying her option? I'm not sure if that was like a bug or intended or what. I think he's gone. We were never going to salvage this, were we? What happened to us? us? What are we? What are we? There are parts, parts of us that are dead and others and the others. They just don't fit. They just don't fit. We can feel Ooh. them moving around in spaces they, they, they don't belong. belong. It's, it's all so uncomfortable. uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. Did you, Did you do this? this? Did, Did we, we do this? Can, 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 you, pull can you pull us back apart? Can, apart? can you fix us? Can you fix us? I can try. We should help her. I think we did this. How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. The stuff, the, the dialogue that we've been hearing so far sounds like some commentary, meta commentary on g video games and media in general. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. 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 But the narrator said she's cunning, and she would do anything to get free and all that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She has seven fingers here. Surprisingly, still one hand. I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. But you don't know if she had the chance to hear your reply. She's gone. Replaced with something else. She's gone? W where did she go? Should we try and find her? Okay, saying that I don't know if she's meant to be fixed is kind of like saying I think she's evil and she's meant to be slain. It's an implicit acceptance of that, I think. Maybe a bit too definitive. I've been trying to straddle the line until the very last step, but there probably were better fence straddling options there. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? The narrator is gone. He is? Does that mean the world ended? Well, the world doesn't revolve around the narrator. Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. You're right. She's gone, it's just us and that awful thing. What do you mean, the mirror or the contrarian? Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. No, <laughs> don't do that. As if I have another choice. I'm begging you, don't do this. The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Hey, if the princess was split into that many pieces and combined together again, I wouldn't be surprised if something similar happened to me. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone. 
but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. What? I'm still trying to go to the cabin? Oh, this kind of looks like the initial woods area-ish. Oh. You are at the cabin. Hi? Is that your hair? You need to go to a barber. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. It's not hair, that's hands. Destroy your body. So I didn't even get that good of a look at myself, but I, I again, reaffirming that I am not human. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Yes. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always the princess? Or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Her mouth is here. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? We're trapped here, in a loop. They've been putting up walls to keep me here. I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. You mentioned the gift of a fragile vessel earlier? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. These ones are a contradiction. A winding kaleidoscope of paths and wall. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. I am sorry that you met this vessel so early in your journey but they will make for a rich and vibrant heart. I'm not digesting anything she's telling me. But are, are you saying that normally I should meet this later, but I kind of stumbled into something that I don't understand because it's too early for me to understand? Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. Let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. 
Does that mean I killed the princess then? The knife, the dagger is still here. I promise that it doesn't hurt. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Perspectives. All the different fractures. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. <laughs> I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Aren't you scared I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape. To remold. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. If we wait, nothing will happen. If we forget, does that mean we go back to the beginning? The actual beginning? We can just sit here and stare at each other for a while. I'm not going back. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Wait forever. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? It sounds like it's possible we have a relationship of some kind. The princess and the person, whoever I am. Am I the hero? The voice of the hero is like one of my perspectives, I guess. So is a contrarian. Huh. If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Mm, okay, the game closed. You have returned to me. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Okay, unless if I forget, they're not gonna let me continue. Hmm, well. Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Everything goes dark, and you die. Okay. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, 
is a princess. So this time we've actually gone back to chapter one. I have to assume that it's possible to move on from that scene we saw if we knew what to do, but at that moment we were there, we, we didn't. And look, there, there's no walls here, now it's just normal and stuff. Um... What is happening? <laughs> I... Don't know... I don't know... But we want to know, right? I'm in the middle of going through a whole bunch of different games right now to see which ones I want to continue, so... Let me know if you want to see more of this. I'm very curious. <laughs> I feel like we didn't learn anything at all so far, I... I don't know. But for um, a visual novel, it seems really high quality though. There is voice acting and the dialogue is quite high quality so far too. Especially the... the weirdo existential ones. Very curious. Maybe we should have been doing conventional choices to see what happens, huh? But this is actually a perfect length for a first look anyway. Um, I can see why people wanted me to check this out. I find it hard to want to just stop here, to be honest, but depends on what you think as well. Alright, let me know. And this was Wellens with Slay the Princess, for now.